what's up y'all today we're reacting to the brand new quest hand tracking now they have a huge claim that their hand tracking is almost as responsive as actual controllers now in my previous videos i did take a shot saying that quest is still behind on hand tracking essentials and features which is why quest 3 won't be a massive selling point now let's just hope that they're definitely proving me wrong because they just hit me with this video and smacked me in my mouth so let's check it out you can see the responses right there you see how fast like so a slow motion we got a slow motion going on now looks solid you could see how right here they're trying to get within that now this helps a lot with mixed reality so if you're a mixed reality enthusiast th this can be huge also so it looks good so far you can see that that turbulence going around that's like ah i like it though it does look improved like it says right here v 2.1 and a v 2.2 on a left and right scenario it's almost there they're obviously their cue for alignment is to just make sure like the controller is right on par with the hand right there that looks really good it looks like for boxing games and stuff that it's going to be very accurate or maybe like an unplugged guitar game kind of like how that game already is just pure hand tracking right here that kind of just identifies you can see everything now this right here is very intriguing looks very interactive very fast as far as poking getting the uh, getting everything engaged button wise i like it now we'll try to look at that one, one more time so you can see i love it so he picks up the controllers and he drops them and as soon as he drops them, it interacts quickly you can start pressing you can start rolling i think that that's very responsive we need that in a responsive sense right now so when looking at all of this let's see right here you can see the hands right there you can see how fast when they drop it like look how fast when they drop it and then it goes right directly to the hand boom boom i love that because if we can have a fast response like that that definitely does help now there's a few things in terms of latency and wireless activity in terms of connection issues right when you play pc games to this day there's a reasoning why we have wired headphones still or wired mouse or a wired uh actual keyboard why because we just feel that to get to the highest competitive rate we still manually do things so that we can have the best experience possible i don't know how well a standalone is going to pick this up but again as i said uh quest is kind of just like roasting my hot take and they're showing that they are very responsive in terms of some updates now in terms of unplugged guitar i remember i got that way back when hand tracking was first starting to get his earlier updates i felt that the unplugged air guitar uh, unplugged air guitar did do good in terms of delivery but i don't i don't it didn't look this great i mean this looks great right now as far i mean we gotta see like is this more if they're bringing that actual full-on quest pro feature it could be possibly a, a huge w now i don't know what game should just revert to going all in i know pico 4 is actually going all in on just getting rid of controllers at this point uh, they have like some update that they're doing right now i don't think quest goes that route but obviously with apple vision pro doing quest is going to continuously try to be in that radar and at least giving us an idea right they're giving us an idea of how we can get these games or get uh into a full hand tracking experience i think the hand tracking experience like this right here how it shows them dropping the controllers i think this will be great for just apps and stuff not really just gaming purely and wholeheartedly just because people want those controllers in their hand but in terms of actual like experiences and trying to do things in craft i think for whether it's an education and uh, education sense or rather it's a uh observation sense or just kind of just uh just like how we will do when we scale our computers up high right like when we want to be able to just have our, our overall just laptop our mini ipad over watching movies in vr i think those where the hand tracking interactives can really be a major plus for gaming i'm not too sure how much people are going to like it one because people are not going to like change two people have like gun stocks like people have all these types of different accessories so they don't want to put like get rid of all that because that builds a massive immersion in vr when you're utilizing that like the physicality of everything it, it builds a massive immersion but this looks good I i've never seen it that fast like as soon as you start dropping it starts rolling like that's rocking and rolling right there and i think it's pretty good for us so far again is it convincing can this be a selling point potentially if they have a cool thing like with maybe synth riders or maybe like super hot where they're utilizing just like your hands and kind of just maybe more of a kung fu game or 
boxing games where it looks real like shadow boxing like we need something that looks amazing in mixed reality augmented reality and uh, utilizing this type of hand tracking on a teaser or a commercial not rendered stuff like actual real gameplay and i think that that could be like a, a major selling point for this but for right now I, I mean it looks good we'll just have to see how it delivers overall we don't know if it's connected to pc vr it just says sdk v56 and experimental so obviously sdks there's always hype there's always things going around with vr so we have to just see if they actually live up to this hype man y'all gotta let me know what's up if there was a game that you would want to have purely hand tracking kind of like the way unplugged air guitar is like what other games would you want just solely on that maybe fighting games or physics games or sandbox games let me know what's up man i appreciate y'all peace